Are you hungry? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now dig this. It's not a holiday. It really isn't. But you just got a taste for stuffing. So I'm going to help you with a nice quick hack on some stovetop. Because who wants to go through all the work that it actually takes to actually make your stuff that you make for your Easter and your Thanksgiving and your Christmas? No, we just want something really quick for a Sunday or another day during the week where you just got a taste for stuff. And we're going to hack this box and we're going to carry on. Keep watching. Okay, first things first. We're going to take one stick of butter. And we're going to put it into a pot on a low and let it just melt down. And while you're doing that, get your vegetables cut up. Okay, you see I have my green pepper and celery and onions right in my butter. And you decide how much that you actually want. It's up to you how much vegetables that you actually want in your dressing. That's some of those things that you can kind of mess around with. Some people like a lot, some people don't. And what I'm doing here, getting them, I'm not trying to fry them. I'm just getting to the point where they are a little bit translucent. And then we're gonna move forward. All right, now, listen, we've added 32 ounces of chicken broth to this whole little concoction here. I added sage, a tablespoon of sage, and a teaspoon of black pepper. I didn't add any salt to this. One, because the chicken broth is salty already, okay? And then remember, we're using stovetop chicken stuffing, and it already has some uh, ingredients inside of it. So. I just went away from salt or seasoned salt altogether with this little recipe. Okay? Be very, very careful because you don't want it salty. There's nothing worse than salty stuffing. All right, now. All right, over here. Now, you know I'm using a box of stovetop chicken stuffing. I'm also going to use this Pepperidge Farms cornbread classic stuffing to add to it and only a half a bag. You're going to take that half a bag and you're going to put that in with the stovetop ingredients and you're going to mix that up in a good old nasty piece of bowl. All right? And this is what it should look like. You got a good mix going there. It's going to be all right. Just bear with me. It's going to be all right. It's all right. Listen, are you hungry? All right, you guys. All right. Now, listen. We're taking our chicken broth and we're actually putting it into our stuffing mix along with the vegetables and you're going to stir it up. This is the consistency that you're actually looking for. You see that? That's the consistency that we're looking for. And you may actually have to add more chicken broth, so that's fine. It's okay. It's no problem. So when you go and purchase, purchase yourself two chicken broths because I think it's actually going to take you probably maybe 48 fluid ounces to actually get this consistency next I'm going to actually add three eggs voila three eggs and stir all right here's where we are this is where we're at and then I got one more thing that I'm going to add. Are you ready? My secret weapon. One can of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom soup. It's the secret weapon. Mm-hmm. Are you hungry? And stir. Here's where we are. Listen. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Not quite. But look here. Really quick. A nice little hack. We're ready. We're getting ready for the oven. We're going to get us a pan that we're going to use. Grease the pan and get ready to put the goodness into the pan and throw the goodness and the pan into the oven. 
voila, here we go. We are ready. Grease pan. Everything's in there. We're real good. We're going to cover with Reynolds wrap aluminum foil, real aluminum foil, and pop it into the oven. And we're going to leave it in there for uh, somewhere around 35, 40 minutes. All righty. Patience, grasshoppers. We are almost there. Oh, yes. Make sure you got everything wrapped up there tight and ready to go. And listen, 35, 40 minutes, and we're going to come back and we're going to get this out of here and we're going to get moving to the dinner table. That's where we're going. Listen, go on and clean up your kitchen now while you're waiting on your stuffing. All right. Okay, you guys, we are moving and pumping on. Listen, after the first 30 minutes, I want you to remove your Reynolds wrap from the top. Remove the Reynolds wrap from the top and then close the oven on back up and go on and do whatever it is you're doing. We only got a few more minutes left. Bam! Did somebody say that it was a holiday? No, it really is not. But look at what we did. Look at what we did. I wish you all could smell what it's about. It's, it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. And it is not. It's not Christmas. It's not Easter. It's not any of those things. It's definitely not Thanksgiving. But baby, we took a box of stovetop stuffing, chicken flavor, and look what we did. Now you go on and pair this on that with some chicken. Or, you know, if you got some turkey, if you just made like some turkey wings or something, you pair it up however you want. Pork chops, pork roast, whatever. But it's quick. It's a quick hack. And you're eating like it's a holiday. And it's just another random regular day. But who said you can't eat good? And it didn't really cost much. Didn't take that much time. Listen, let me go plate this up right quick. Let you see what we got going on. And baby, if it's done right, you don't even need gravy. But if you want to just be groovy and want to make gravy, go right ahead. But if it's done right, you don't even need the gravy. Get on into it what I tell y'all. Don't play with me in this kitchen. Do you see this? Now I done grabbed me old nasty piece of pork chop over here and got my stuffing right here. Baby, and I'm ready to eat. Are you hungry? Listen, go ahead. You can tell people. They're not going to believe you anyway. You tell them, yeah, that's stovetop. That's stovetop. They're not going to believe you. They're not going to believe that you didn't slave in the kitchen over that. That's all right. It'll be our little secret. Listen, I love you guys. Until next time, I'll see you.